eight days in the camp, is that what you want to see the defense kind of controlling things? Yeah, you know, I thought they ran the ball really well, made it physical. I think uh, we had some really good tackles and whatnot. I think at times the offense made it even easier on those guys with some functionality and whatnot. But no, was pleased with um, the tackling. Didn't see a bunch of missed tackles out there. Um, it's always two-sided. You're going to turn this tape on, and there's a, a thing or two to clean up offensively. But uh, no, they, they had a good day. The, the progress of the defense, is, has that been pretty pleasing to you, what you've seen? Well, after today, yeah, I think they're making steps. You know, we can't stay right here because offense is going to get better. I mean, this is the first time, really, procedures, play clocks, you know, lining up things. They made it help the defense out a little bit. Uh, so they're making progress, and that's kind of typical. Been around the game for a while. First scrimmage, defense a little bit ahead. Bit ahead. Um, it, it appears from the way it was played out there that you're down to Jebby and Neuer for the top two? Not totally, no. I mean, that through the first week, they had gotten the opportunity to go with the first and second group first. But you saw Chance get in there a little bit, and Sam still going along, so no decisions. Yeah, no, no. What were some of your major goals today, and you feel like you got there? It was nice to see the ball getting taken away. Defensively, I mean, that's something we've approached as a program with last year. We've got to create some more turnovers. That, that took place. Uh, again, I thought the back and forth of tackling, but then executing offensively at times. It was a good run, physical play, so I liked a lot. Rajon really seems like he's developed not just as a, as a player, but also just kind of in, in the swagger and confidence yeah. that he has out there. I mean, I'd imagine that's got to be nice to see out of his own. His approach from even the end of last season, the way he hit the weight room, trained, playbook, just playing with confidence. I think the competition in that room's helped him. Elijah Jones is doing a lot of good things. Alex Austin's doing it. You know, with Keeley and AJ's playing really well. So that whole unit, I think, has made huge strides. When you had the when you had the one defense in there, they were. It seemed like they were always around the ball. Didn't didn't. Yep. There was not much to run through. There was not much. I mean, and again, I think you get into camp running some similar plays over and over and over. They got a, a piece of that, but I was pleased with that group. How did you like seeing some intensity between the offense and defense at a couple different moments today? Yeah, they, you know, you're gonna get a little chippy. We definitely gotta control that. You yeah. know, you wanna play this game with emotion, it's gonna mean a lot to these guys, competitive. At the same time, when the whistle blows, we gotta be able to move on to the next play and not have the added. Just out of curiosity, do you see a lot of unsportsmanlike conduct penalties in a scrimmage? I don't think I've ever well, seen we, that before. we have the officials out there. We asked them to, to make oh, a point you? of it. So anything close they were going to throw so we can coach off of it. This, this isn't the first day Jaden Robinson has, has yeah. had some, made some plays. Yes. He's, he's taken a big step forward, huge, hasn't he? Huge. Big plays today, catching the ball, is covering. I, I go back to that group, that secondary, so competitive. You've got some depth, and he's another one that's you know, benefited from the competition and, and done it himself working hard. How nice it's been to see uh, Addison Gums get out yep. there and finally get go live and, you know, really have a couple good plays leading yeah, up to today. Today, but you know, put a couple back-to-back -back practices yeah, here yeah. being able to get in and stay in, and so that's been nice to see. Defensively, you've got a lot of emotional leaders, a lot of confidence leaders and, and veteran leadership. Who, who is that guy on the offense that's emerged? It, well, it like, starts with our whole line. We've got yeah. some leaders there, guys have been around it. Eldridge, News, Kipper, and Josh and Bryce played a bunch. So it starts there, but we got experience at wideout. Um, and again, it's oftentimes the leadership comes from making a player too. Mm -hmm. You get some emotion going, you know, and it always a little hit -miss. Well, and to that note, I mean, just kind of looking at the way your defense responded right off the bat there, I mean, is that maybe something you want to see out of your offense is like one or two plays is enough and somebody yeah, in that you, unit you can kind of get back. them going? Yeah, you can fight back and change this moment. Well, you know, so, you know, that's why you scrimmage and then you go and watch the tape. And these guys learn from it. And we still got a few weeks here before our player first one. I'm confident we're going to grow offensively. Was there any particular delineation that you saw between Tristan and Sam at all? You know, nothing. I got to go watch this tape. Uh, each of them has had some opportunities. Again, there's 10 other guys next to them that are going to raise their level of play, too, to help them out. We saw Jimmy Dawson make a nice Yeah. He's done good this first week. You know, dove into the playbook, and he's got some athleticism and talent. And so now he's starting to get comfortable with playing, knowing where he's going, how I'm going to route, how they're covering me. Um, so he's done a good job. Just for Sam did black kind of get comfortable with some high guys. Yeah, well. Sam's done some good things. He can go all over his spring and then this first week and, and reps and creating. He's got a, that fine line of creating versus just you know living for the next next down. And that's why he practice. General injury update on uh, on McCartan. Saw him, you know, yep. out of dealing with some stuff not long term, but uh, wasn't wasn't going to go in this one. We had a few guys like that. You know, Jaden's getting closer, Tegan's getting closer, but we were going to be smart with some guys today. Do you, have a, do you have a timeline for Tegan to get back into pads at all? You know, I need the doc. It's, it's going well. We're hopeful still for, for 
for Purdue, and there's no long-term guys in this league. No, not that. No, not that I have. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks coach. coach.